Why is it that you hate selling? Why is it that you have a hatred in your heart? Maybe it's not even a conscious hatred for the idea of marketing and sales. How do I know you hate it? Because you don't get up every day with a love for what you do and a desire to impart the knowledge of what it is you're selling and promoting to the marketplace so that people can actually buy your products and your services and you can do it in a way that God would be glorified. You'd make him famous and put him on display. I got four minutes to tell you what I have to tell you and so here we go. My name is Sean Isaacs. Welcome to episode one of Marketing for Christians Who Hate Selling. Three things that you need to develop in your life if you're going to conquer that fear you have of rejection and the hatred you have for sales and marketing. See, most people are afraid of rejection. Why? Because we are lovers of self more than lovers of God. We have more fear of men than we do of God. We're more conscious of what people think, what people say, how people feel about us than we are about how God thinks, feel, and what God has to say, right? And so the principles that you and I need to use in the subject of evangelism and missions is the same principles that should be used in how you share the product or services that you believe in. There are many of God's people who are intimidated and afraid to share their faith. For the same reason that you are afraid to share your product or your service, and that is you are more concerned about what people think or you are afraid of being rejected. If you're going to conquer the fear of rejection or all the fears that come with paralyzing people from sharing what it is that they, that they believe can, that can change and enhance the life of others, then you have to grow in three areas. You have to grow in belief, in skill, and attitude. Let me run through that really quick. Belief. The scripture says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing. That means you don't have it. You're not born with it. It comes by hearing the word of God. Well, the principle is exactly the same. What is the principle? The principle is belief can be strengthened by hearing about the thing you need to believe in. For example, my wife has gone through cancer over the last 17 years five times. One of the ways that we got her through without much of the conventional treatments is we exposed my wife on a regular basis to stories of people who had been healed naturally over and over and by hearing over and over and over again her faith was strengthened well you have to do the same thing but you need to believe in your product and your services you need to believe in your company you need to believe that the customer will be better off for working with you. And there's one other belief, but I'll get into that next time. Secondly, you need to strengthen your attitude. Scripture says rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. You need to strengthen your attitude. Why? Because you are going to be rejected. You are going to be misunderstood. There are going to be people that have no interest in what it is you're promoting or marketing. And so you're going to have to feed the inner man so that you can have a better attitude. And lastly, you need to grow in skill. Well, if you were listening, you heard the bell go off, so my time is up. In our next time together, I am going to go a little bit deeper into these three areas and how you can grow in belief, in attitude, and in skill so that you can become a better seller and promoter of what it is that God has given you to take to the marketplace. Scripture says, whatever we do, in word or, or, or in deed, that we should do it to the honor and the glory of God. Whether we eat or drink, do all to the glory of God. Well, Sean Isaacs here with Marketing for Christians Who Hate Selling. If something here resonates with you, make sure you like, share, subscribe, because I suspect over time that these will get better, more practical, and more helpful. Thanks. I'd love to hear from you.